Okay. Okay, good morning guys. We are six days out, so we're at the peak week and peak week vlog vlogs. We'll start, we'll see how much footage we get across the week and I'll try and take you through as much as we can because for a lot of people this part is pretty exciting. Obviously most of the work is done and um, the body fat is, is definitely definitely off by now. Um, so yeah, a couple of manipulations across this week just to kind of really you know bring the physique at its best. Don't forget bodybuilding is bringing your physique at its best for one day. It is not sustainable you're not gonna look like that all year round. It's literally for one day. So the goal here is to, you know, bring yourself in to, to look the best next Saturday, basically, and, and next Sunday. Um, so yeah, a few manipulations across this week. So I'm on the way over to Cuba's now. Um, he will take a look and then we'll just see where I'm at and what way he wants to approach things across this week. With food, with, car with not cardio, with steps, etc. So uh, yeah, let's see what he says and I'll kind of take you through day by day what the game plan is. There's the forecast today. I think it's like 98% chance of muffins. So, uh, maybe. Or I'm just gonna actually show you through my vacuums, which I do every morning, okay? So, if I'm gonna vacuum, what I will do is literally hands on the counter, bend over a little bit, okay? And what I will do here is I think about like blowing all the air out of my stomach and then sucking my stomach up into my spine, okay? so. And I'll hold that for 15, 20 seconds, rest like 15, 20, and repeat five times. And I found that has helped me, I'm not Sebo, I can't pull an actual vacuum on stage in poses, but I just I found it helped me keep control of my midsection on stage, in, well, not on stage, but in between transitions, etc. Like even standing here now, I can keep this midsection pretty flat without just letting it kind of hang out. So to train the trans transverse abdominus, which just allows me to have more midsection control. So yeah, first thing, we crack on for the day. First day of higher food going into the day of, the, of this peak week. So I'll run through it in a few minutes. So the verdict, no muffins today. Um, we have an increase of 150 grams of carbs and actually 10 grams of fat, so not much. But alongside that, clean is pulled down. T3 is pulled down as well. Um, and steps are pulled down as well in terms of expenditure. So that will obviously kind of you know, offset the deficit a little bit as well and really, really see a lot of fullness come back through, especially through the legs with kind of no steps in, well, less steps in here. So um, we will see how this runs and then we will see how we look tomorrow if any sort of fullness is actually got to come through or if we actually need more food. And we'll just kind of try trade it up as the days goes on, as the days go on, if we need more in here. But right now, that is the game plan today. Basically coming from rice, banana, and the fats from almond butter as well. That is all we've done, all, all we've added in. Um, nothing crazy. Only use foods in peak week that you have used throughout prep, okay? So let's say for example, like if we added the likes of muffins in, that's because we have used them over the last few weeks of this prep in mock carb, carb ups, etc. as well, okay? So I've used these foods, all the foods that I'm having don't change. My meal plan is still the exact same and the foods that we're adding in or adding extras of in, I've had these throughout prep as well. I know these digest well with me, I know they sit on my stomach well um, and I know I'm not going to get any, any adverse reactions or responses in terms of gut health or digestion etc here as well, which is, is super, super important because the last thing you want is for you to be going to the peak week and be three, four days out and the bloated and finding it difficult to go toilet and just feeling uncomfortable and not being able to pose properly, etc. as well. So I think that is something very important, which a lot of people will get to carb up and they'll add like loads of different foods in because they're like, oh, I can carb up now, I can eat loads more foods. You know, yes, we can enjoy the carb up, but there's plenty of time once that show is done to obviously enjoy different kind of foods that you haven't been having. And um, when, you know, you don't need your stomach to be super, super tight on stage just in case you do have any reactions in terms of gut health. It's not really going to affect because you won't be on stage. Does that make sense? So that's what I like to kind of do in terms of kind of peak week, quote unquote, keep foods the same. Last leg session today, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to have pre-workout in a second, then we're going to head in for this. Um, but yeah, that's today's game plan. Extra 150 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat. Um, we brought 
water up to eight liters. It, it's it's around seven and a half, so just a little bit of an increase in terms of hitting eight minimum. Um, and then we've brought salt down to ten grams from twelve grams as well. Just a couple of manipulations, um, nothing crazy. You know, peak week is not magic, but just a couple of manipulations here with fuel, with expenditure, with um, hydration, etc. as well. Um, but that is the only change. I'll update you tomorrow in terms of where fuel is at and what the game plan is. And in terms of this leg session today, coming into the last week, even over the last couple of weeks as well, it, it, it's nothing crazy. You know, we're literally just gonna go in, probably one working set for most things, and uh, maybe two on some isolations as well, but probably like seven sets in total. Um, probably adductor, line hamstring curl, leg extension, um, leg press, and maybe that's it to be fair, and calves. So we'll see when we go in. Again, nothing to failure. Um, we're not trying to break down loads of tissue here and do loads of damage here. The goal here is to stimulate the muscle, get some blood in, get nutrients moving. You know, I'm on stage in six days time. You know, so the last thing I want to do is go in, bury myself, be absolutely smashed um, for four or five days and my legs still being inflamed and heavy going into Saturday, which I don't want. So I want them fresh, I want them recovered um, and I want them, you know, not really inflamed so we can see all the detail and all the lines and all the condition coming through them as well. So that is the game plan. Good morning, guys. So second day of peak week, it is Monday. We're five weeks out and we're on the car run again. So this is going to be every morning this week. I'll give you another little update. So yesterday, that extra food went in, trained legs, really, really good session. Just making sure, you know, we got a pump, everything was stimulated and then obviously that was that job done. Um, weight is 0.2 of a kg up today um, and I feel a lot fresher already. A little bit fuller as well, um, but yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really paying much attention to how I look or how I feel. I'm just not worrying, not thinking, and just letting him kind of do his thing and he'll he'll tell me the game plan. Um, I think more than likely we would probably run the same food as yesterday, um, but let's see what he says. But the excitement is kicking in now, so uh, yeah, I'll fill you in with the game plan once once we're sorted. I think you might have extra food. Huh? I think maybe you might have extra food. Do you reckon? Maybe. To be honest, I, I think this is another one like is right now like he can he can give me less fuel he can give me more fuel i really don't care to be honest with you um whatever gives me the best results like obviously yeah like i'd you know at this stage of prep you'd love more fuel but there's plenty of time after the shows to eat so whatever gets the job done um, and if that's key to keep the fuel lower we will do that but uh yeah right so i go through obviously the game plan for fuel but i'll show you this first meal first of all what I was actually saying yesterday is that, imagine if we had the same enjoyment and taste buds for foods as we do in a dieting phase, deep in the off season as well. Because with an off season, obviously, when you, if you're deep in the off season, you don't really care for food as much. You know, it's there in abundance, things taste different. But when you are in a dieting phase, everything is just kind of like, it tastes way, way different. Like, it just tastes so much better. And yeah, I have berries and almond butter here. Honestly, unbelievable. And then I have my mince and rice as well, which is always unbelievable. But here, that berries and almond butter, that is absolutely key. And then obviously my mince, my mince. but that's my first meal. Also, that, that face, has really come in um, over the last few days. Um, but one thing I actually have here, this is what I'm gonna try, look. Can we see this? Yes. Yes, so this is what I'm actually gonna trial for PCA Manchester, Dream Tan. Never used it before, but it looks fucking good when it's done well. Um, so we'll try it out. It may go completely wrong or it may go really, really good, but anyone I've seen use it looks insane. So we're gonna try it. It's actually banned in like, you know, two rows and stuff like that. So I won't be using it there, I'll be using normal Pro Tan, but Dream Tan, we're gonna try it from PCA Manchester. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at what, at what it looks like. Okay, so we are back in the lab, in the office, and we are in for fourth meal today. So I wanted to show you this meal because 
I really fucking enjoy. I had this yesterday as well. So, like I said, it's mad how everything tastes so much better when you are when you're obviously dieting as well. But uh, this meal is going to be 125 grams of rice, 100 grams of banana. So what I've done is I've put the banana on the rice and then salt over that, so I'm eating that. And then I have the whey and then the berries in on top of the whey as well. I mean, so the whey is in paste and then we have the, the berries in that as well. And then the banana and the rice and obviously baby spoon as usual. So in terms of the game plan today, food wise, this morning, like I said, 0.2 of a kg up. Still obviously pretty flat, but starting to fill out with a touch. So we decided to go a little bit more food in today. So basically an extra five grams of fat and an extra 50 grams of carbs. So one is meal one, an extra 25 gram of rice and 10 gram of almond butter. Meal two, 25 gram of rice. Meal five, 25 gram of rice. And meal um, six, 25 gram of rice. Just over 50 gram of carb and five gram of fat extra gone in today. So today's a rest day as well, so obviously no training, so that should definitely stick a little bit more. And obviously the second day with clean and tea tree reduce as well with less steps, so I'm thinking tomorrow we should definitely be a lot fuller too. But um, regardless of more food and kind of like, you know, rest day today, I'm pretty fucked um, in terms of just, these are long, boring days. Um, you know, rest day today, it's just like, just impatience, waiting, waiting for this weekend to come, and um, just kind of excited for it. So the days are long, they're boring. Expenditure is less, so I'm not out walking around as much, um, and the, you know, extra food has me feeling a bit lethargic as well. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow because the tra training day tomorrow we have push tomorrow, pull Wednesday, a pump session Thursday, and then obviously we'll uh, rest up on Friday before show on Saturday. So once tomorrow comes we'd be in a good position because three training days, so them days pretty much fly. So there's not gonna be as much sitting around and it won't be as boring. So I'm excited for that. But that is the extra food going in today. Works out as a 350 protein, 675 carb, 50 fat. So again, we'll just see where we're at tomorrow morning and I will keep you updated. As the week goes on, we have tannin, we have hair removal. It will get a bit more exciting, but right now it literally is just work chill out, um, eat, and uh, yeah, just let peak week do its thing, basically. One thing I wanted to touch on as well there, obviously you see me eating fruit a lot, especially in that last meal that I just had as well. So a lot of people will think that, oh, fruit is healthy. You know, you can just snack in it throughout the day. Um, and we have to realize that fruit still is a carb source, it still has calories. So if you look at having a banana, etc., it's gonna be like 20 gram of carb. So yes, fruit is great for your micronutrients, but don't forget it still contains calories and fruit is a great carb source as well. So just if you are, for example, like I remember one time I had, I had a, a training partner, a friend I used to, I used to train with. Um, this, was, this was pretty funny as well. I remember laughing at him when he told me. So he was in the middle of prep and it got to like three weeks out and we were talking and he was like, yeah, he goes, the hunger isn't bad. He goes, when I'm hungry, I, I just have a banana. And I was like, what do you mean just have a banana? Is it on your plan? And he was like, no, I, I just I just have that. You know what I mean? But when I'm hungry to help the hunger. And I'm like, I was like, mate, you know bananas have like 20 grams of, of carbs in a banana. And like, he couldn't believe it. You know, but luckily he was he was pretty peeled anyway, so he got away with it. But um, yeah, so just, just food for thought as well that, you know, fruit does have calories so if you snack on it calories will add up pretty fast okay we're back we're back and i know i know these videos are basically all in this same spot basically so pretty boring i know but it is what it is and um, so it is actually four days out it's it's tuesday evening so i'm actually finished this session and everything push session today um smashed today absolutely smashed i I just didn't even feel, feel a pump when I was in there. Um, so Q had a look at me after it as well. And he was like, right, um, I definitely think a bit more fuel can go in. So this morning we said we'd stick with the same fuel as yesterday. So it was literally the same game plan as yesterday because this morning was okay. And then as the day went on, uh, it just wasn't filling up at all. And I was very flat. So I'm, I'm a drier and I'm a lot tighter as well, which I'm really, really happy about. So we decided to put more fuel in post-workout in our last three meals. So. Basically, what we've done here, me post workout, we put in 125 grams of cocoa pops on top of that meal. Um, so that was 125 rice, 100 banana, 100 berries, 60 whey, and then plus the 125 cocoa pops. Let's go meal five first. 200 grams of rice up from 125. 
chicken is down to 100 and um, from 200 again just there's more carbs here so just to take some digestive stress off the gut and um, banana is at 100 grams and almond butter was at 10 but we know we've brought almond butter in at 30 grams for the next meal and also 50 grams of pineapple with this as well and then last meal instead of 200 mints 125 rice and 100 pineapple it's going to be 200 rice 100 beef 100 apple sorry 100 banana 50 pineapple and 20 almond butter so that is confusing if uh, anyone listening really like what the fuck is he talking about but basically all we have done today is within these last three meals there's basically an extra 260 grams of carbs gone in basically plus an extra like 15 grams of fat so what we look like tomorrow at three days out wednesday which is absolutely nuts but um this is where we're at four days out now game plan for this evening i'm gonna start hair removal okay so i'm actually gonna go i'm gonna show you this is what i'm using okay so this this veet so what i'll do is i'm gonna have like three bottles as well so i'm gonna put this on Gemma's is going to put this on for me um, and I'm going to leave this for a few minutes and then I'm going to obviously wash it off and I, I've let the hair grow a little bit over the last like five, six days just so there's enough to kind of take off um, but I know this is going to make me look a lot leaner. Everyone knows like when you shave you look like 2% body fat leaner um, so I'm looking forward to getting this bit of hair off. It's Tuesday and we're doing this because we just don't want anything to give our skin a reaction. Like say for example, my skin flared up or I got inflamed due to the veed, for example. I don't want that to be two days out and then, you know, for that to have a negative effect on me putting tan, etc., on as well. So I'm doing this like four days out, get it done tonight. Um, and the hair won't grow back very fast. If, if, you, if you use V, you know it takes everything off. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do this this evening. I'll get all this hair off and then I will use the, the Philips one blade um over the next few days if i see any bits of stubble starting to come back as well because that phillips one blade it's a very very tight shave and that doesn't give me any irritation whatsoever i could just use that to shave like before the show to be honest but the v gives me a much much smoother look okay so we are done uh, it was definitely a two-man job it was <laughs> it was like a, a piece of construction wasn't it it was gem is next i'm gonna put it on her where are you putting it? Your legs? Uh, no, I'm just going to put it that hair up because I'm going to shave oh, my legs. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm okay. going to shave my legs on the on day before my first coat, so okay. it's Thursday. Jenna's very, very hairy, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm like a wealth. Yeah, it's that them Asian genes. <laughs> like a baby's bottom already. <laughs> but yeah, that is hair removal. I've done this before, I remember, on, on my, my nipples. I remember I left it on my nipples too long. And like it ripped the skin off and then I had to put tan on. It was fucking horrible, I remember that. Um, and then I remember I left up my hands too long. So like I ripped all the skin off my hands and my mom as well. So oh, my mom's actually gonna be jealous here because she's used to doing this. So, uh, but um, we had to use rubber gloves just, just in case it start boredom. But what, what time, what's the timer? Uh, we are at one minute 53. Right, so we wait about six minutes and then we'll start uh, washing the bottom off. Um, hopefully it doesn't start burning through but buzzing to have this off okay so we are going to wrap this peak week vlog up here and um, we're going to sit down to my fifth meal now which I will show you now but this is up until Tuesday and then I will get another video out of the second half of peak week um, by the weekend before show or maybe maybe on show day and then show day video should be out by kind of pretty much next week so uh yeah, we're going to uh, eat this meal and we're going to watch some Mike Thurston actually has a new video um, on YouTube and, and Mike, Mike Thurston's videos are pretty fucking good very very easy to watch you don't have to do much thinking so uh, yeah I'll watch this so here we have this meal so 200 rice 100 chicken and uh, mustard peppers 100 banana 30 almond butter and then 50 pineapple here as well so a good chunk of carbs going down here now and then we'll chill out and watch good old Mike. And that is us four days out.